What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rambo Leak and my wife Rambo Wife. All right. This week we're gonna talk about our trip to Houston that we just took this past weekend. Yep. So welcome to another episode of Story Time with the Wilsons. Right. Make sure y'all go below subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell so y'all get notified every time we drop a video. And also comment some stuff down below, some stuff y'all want us to talk about. And next week we'll have next week we'll have a special guest featured on our channel. She doesn't even know yet, that's why she's looking at me like that. Alright, go ahead and kick it off. First of all, I'm upset that this is our channel. He don't tell me nothing. I, I want to know about the special guest. It just went in the works today. We'll, we'll discuss it later. Well, ain't you somebody? Anywho, this past weekend we went to Houston. Um, our flight going there, both of our flights going there was great. Yeah. Um, we got to Houston. We got on the shuttle to the rental car place. Our the rental car terminal. Yeah, it, it like it's pretty. It's about what? few miles from the airport well a couple miles I'm not saying maybe like miles. a mile Ma mile, and a half. mile yeah and a half. Um, and so we get to Hertz who is our rental car company and we booked with Hertz I love Hertz I loved Hertz I've never had a problem with Hertz so there's a guy in front of us and he's talking to the lady and he's like visibly upset and so we're like whoa you know that lady She's probably having a bad day. That guy's probably having a bad day, too. Yeah. And then we get to the counter. And Hertz rented all of their rental cars. They blamed it on the hurricane. All of their cars were rented because last week we had a hurricane scare. And we rented all our cars for the hurricane and we were like well that was last week and this week is this week and y'all just confirmed our rental when we landed yeah like I, I got a confirmation email like right right like as soon as we landed I cut I cut airplane mode off and, and that's yeah, when I got the email. confirmation email so we were like what in the world will we need a car and it was like, we need a car. Like, how are we going to get around Houston? And we didn't want to Uber. We were like, you know, because every time you Uber, it takes money. So it was just like, it's pointless to get an Uber every single time we need to go somewhere. Yeah. And, money. yeah, too much money. So she was like, well, I can't guarantee that um, we don't have cars today. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Uh, okay, she said, y'all can come back tomorrow and get a car. I will have cars tomorrow. That's what she said originally. Then, five minutes later, here she comes back. Well, I can't guarantee we're gonna have cars tomorrow. Right. So, issue is or issue ain't gonna have cars. That was so Southern. Issue is or issue ain't. That was who are you, Nelly? And that's what I needed to know. And then I asked her, so my next question was, since our rental was basically on our behalf, we felt like it was canceled. Mm -hmm. Did we already pay for this? And if we come back and get the rental car tomorrow, you're going to have to give us a percentage off because you... It was your fault. Y'all, yeah. the rental car company, decided to over rent cars. And she was like, well, you're going to have to pay the price. And I was like, who like, will? Like she, like, she really wanted everybody to pay the same price right. for the cars that weren't there. And I was like, oh, who? Not I. And then what made me even matter is she didn't call anybody. She didn't say. She didn't try to look for any other car. Right. She didn't call another Hertz and be like, "Hey, you know, do y'all have a rental that I can use just for the weekend? You know, anything." Because all the time people pick up rental cars at one location and drop them off at a different location. And then on the way to our hotel, we passed what two or three different kind of Hertz. Yes. 
Yes, it was probably like a 30 minute drive from the airport to our hotel and we passed two or three hertz. And there was a hertz like right downtown, yes. like a block from our hotel. I was like, we literally could have Ubered to our hotel and still made it to the hertz. For real. But then after all that went down, we got upset. And then it was out of, I want to say, I want to say it was either eight or ten total rental car places in there. Yep. Only one place had, had cars. cars. Yep. And big shout out to Avon's Car Rental. Thank you. Because they went above me out for everybody in there. I, I Because everybody that did not have that, basically, everybody that had a rental with Hertz. Went to, to Avis. And then, like, the one thing I really applauded was the manager at Avis. I don't know this guy's name. I don't know who he was. He was the manager. But it was a guy. He was, like, panicking because he had his whole family there. They came from, they came from like, way up north up somewhere. Right. And, like, he really worked to get them a car like he was calling people for like 30 45 minutes trying to find them a car and he did find them a car right that is what managers do they fix it that that's what your job is as a manager you're literally the fix it person if if stuff happens then you're the fix it person it's your job to make sure that no customers turned away unhappy. And I used to be a manager. I'm, I'm a director, so. Yeah, I used to be a manager at a car wash. I would know, because some of them people, whoo. Oh, yeah, we forgot to tell one part. Um, while we were at Hertz, everybody standing at the counter mad, pissed off with him. But while they're explaining their story to the manager, she just walks off. We weren't finished talking to her. She just she walks off, off and never came back. My thing is, if you're a manager, if you want to be a manager, but you can't deal with what comes with being a manager, do not be a manager. Right. Because it's going to take getting chewed out. It's going to take it's being a lot, it's a lot. It's a lot more than just money mm -hmm. and benefits. It's a lot more than that. All right, but... After all that fiasco, we finally got a car. It wasn't the car that we wanted, but, I mean, hey, we, we got something. That's all that mattered. I mean, it was great on gas, though. I had all the drive we did, I only spent, what, $15 on gas? $15 to fill it back $15.10 on gas. And yeah. that was at 4.30 in the No, about 4.15 in the morning. 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Because we got to the airport about 4.15. It doesn't matter. They don't need to know all of our business, do they? What too bad? They know that. Oh, my goodness. Y'all. But we got to the hotel. That was, hotel was nice. It was just in a oh, rough okay. area. It was okay. Parking is horrible at, at the Lake Meridian. Down, well, downtown Houston is horrible to drive in. Every street is a one-way. Yeah. Very few streets go both of Yeah, it's extremely few. Like, oh my god, it was so annoying. And but. then our hotel, like, the hotel that I wanted to stay at had a valet. But this hotel, they were supposed to have a valet, but and they, then they didn't. We get there, there ain't no valet. <laughs> we were the they, valet. They got the valet thing outside. <laughs> they got the little valet stand and everything. No <laughs> valet drops. No valet. And then plus, I don't know where that's gonna park the cars to valet. <laughs> And just, just for the record, this was the Le Meridian downtown Houston. Yeah, the room was nice. The, yeah, the room was nice. The room was nice. Can't complain about that. Yeah. Uh, food was good. At all the places we ate, as y'all, y'all should go back and watch our last what, three or four videos. They're short. They're short, so make sure y'all go check those out. Yeah, but it was pretty, the food was good, especially the breakfast club, oh my god. The breakfast club was definitely the best place we ate, hands yeah. down. It was they, really delicious. Yeah, they, they, they got, in my opinion, they got Kiki's beat. Well, they're on different sides of the world, babe, so. I mean, I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying, by, by places that I ate, 
in my in my order of places that I've been, it goes good. R.I.P. Gladys Knights in oh, Atlanta. Man. Gladys, I don't know what you did, but you need to open back up your restaurants. And then it went to the Breakfast Club, then Kiki's. Out of, those, out of those kind of like restaurants, like chicken and waffle. Yeah, like, ch- like chicken and waffle, like for everybody who doesn't live okay. in Columbia. Okay, okay, yeah, whatever. That's that's my order. All right. What? Well, let's see what else happened. Um, nothing. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, so our, our trip started off as a disaster, as a disaster, but then it like ended up and got better. Yeah, definitely. I do want to say, like, COVID kind of messed some stuff up yeah. because I definitely wanted to eat the turkey leg cut, but it was a Sunday, and I guess the turkey leg cut closed at 10, yeah. and then I was like, well, if I can't have turkey leg cut, I want Papa Do's. Papa Do's oh. closed at 9. <laughs> And we were, so, at, we were at my homeboy house at the time, so. Right, and it was like no delivery options, and I was just like, what in the world, Houston? But I, like, I had to remember that Houston is still like a southern city, yeah. so like stuff is gonna close early. It's gonna be just like living in South Carolina, you know, stuff is gonna close at a certain time. Even with the, with the outlets, they closed at six and seven. And because it was a bigger city, I was just expecting it to be open for longer and stuff like that. Nah, nah, no ma'am. Same thing. And so that kind of like helped ease my mind. Like it made me feel kind of like at home. But all in all, we prayed at all the at a the bad way our landing in Houston started. We prayed about it and everything went smoothly after that. So yeah. big shout out to God. Yeah, he definitely covered us. Cause I was definitely in the car on the line like there's like ten people in front of us. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, we, I, oh yeah, oh yeah, we forgot to say that part. We got the la- we got one of the last what, three cars? Yeah, it was only like three cars left. It was like our car it was the car we got, two other cars, and then I think there was like one more small pickup truck. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't want a little baby pickup truck. And if I, if I was gonna get a truck, I want a full size truck. I'm not. I, oh, but he picked a little rinky dink car. No, it don't even start. It wasn't me. rinky dink. It's good on gas. It's good on gas. Don't even start with me. It's good on gas. That's all that matters. All right, y'all. We out of here. Make sure y'all go below, subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification bell so y'all get notified every time we drop or me drop a video. But you got anything you want to tell them? No. Um. Okay. Yeah. No. I was gonna say, how she gonna say no? Is that? I, I had to think on it, okay. but no, not today. Okay. Y'all have a wonderful. Oh, I do have something okay. to say. I thought I'm, about it. I'm not surprised. Next week, just like. No, don't don't. Don't be doing that. I keep telling you. Too bad, I told you. Yeah, I be telling I be you, y'all friend. I be telling y'all, man. y'all fellow YouTuber. I like you too, man. He lucky he ain't dead. He lucky he ain't dead. Anyway, mm-hmm. anyway. Um, next week I will have. All right. A, you know you're not supposed to tell. You're supposed to just tell it when you wear it or do it, whatever you're going to do. I just kind of get it. He always thinks he's the boss of people. And it's I'm, annoying. I'm never the boss. What, what are you doing? The HNIC. Never that. Well, alright y'all, we out of this thing for real. Peace. <laughs>